Here we are, welcome to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host of the day, du jour, <laughs> Todd Weisenbaker, and with you as always is Garth. <laughs> oh, I'm alone. Where's Lemo? Where's that clown? I don't know. Um, yeah, here you are. Uh, another episode, and we're going to get right into a very cool guitar. One of my favorites. I am sure, slowly but surely becoming a Gibson guy through these videos. Um, from 1961, almost the first year, they came out in 60, but, you know, history has a way of distorting. So, we'll call it a first year. Um, beautiful mm -hmm. sunburst finished hummingbird. Original sunburst finish. Okay. This one is ridiculously clean. This one is so clean, it wasn't even in Norm's stash. It was in Norm's stash stash. Oh. Which is the office. Um, I don't even know if this one's on reverb. Um, it's so nice. This is the upper echelon of cleanliness. Can there be one? Um, hang tag, Ooh. obviously the original case. Um, now this is a hog, mahogany back and sides, spruce top adjustable bridge, and split parallel split parallelogram inlays, great frets. The neck on this is like that really great early 60s, 1960, 1961, kind of very thin, but very substantially, it, it just feels like a nice solid neck, but it's very skinny. Um, original tuners, look at those things. Wow. <laughs> they look like repros, but they are not. Um, Finished checking, as you can see. Wow. Um, these are just some of the best sounding guitars. Um, there were some of them made with um, like a duff with maple back and sides. This happens to be an, a regular one. Um, just gonna do it here.
take it home. <laughs> go for it. Please? Yes, go. What's the discount here? Mm, employee discount? It's um, not too bassy, which is great. It's kind of got that mid punch, not overly bassy like some of the doves can be, which I personally love, but this is just sits right in the mix. I'm a fan, Jen. <laughs> uh, well, there you have it. Uh, hit me up on Message me on Reverb if you're interested in this bad boy. Um, I am interested in it, so you might have to fight me for it. <laughs> Jen, hold me back. Um, sorry for singing. <laughs> um, cool. Yeah, there you have it. Uh, again, thank you for all your continued support on Reverb um, through this weird time. It's weird for everyone. It's a weird time for the world. Um, but we're doing what we can to give you some normality, guy that keeps calling me out on normalcy, which I think normalcy <laughs> is the right word. Um, yeah, so we are trying to do what we can and we very much appreciate it. And um, also we are still buying because we're selling, so we need to replenish stock. So um, you can also just message us on our website, which goes to Reverb as well, um, or any of our, um, personal Instagram handles if you have something that you're interested in selling and we are interested in buying and we buy at very competitive pricing. So uh, anything else I need to mention, Jen? I think that's it. Jen's a boss. We're only here for a couple hours right now, <laughs> packing things up. And uh, so I thought we, we had this out for a customer and I thought it was really cool. So hope you like it. And again, thank you all for everything. Bye. Wow, it was kind of like on that note, though. Did you hear me? Yeah, bye. 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 You hear that? bye and e. Damn. All right, we're out front. We have the 1968 Gibson Hummingbird Original Heritage Cherry Sunburst Finish. <laughs> Gibson Hummingbird. We have the 1963 Gibson Hummingbird Original Heritage Cherry Sunburst Finish. Let's put it through the paces real quick. We'll start with the fingers uh, and we'll switch to a pick in just a minute here. 